Hi everyone, I'm Phil from Statistics Mentor. Now I'm going to show you a real fast way to prove that the mean squared error of an estimator is equal to the variance of the estimator plus the bias of the estimator squared. Right, now to do this the quick way we note the following from previous lessons. A very basic result that the variance of a random variable, say x, is equal to the expected value of x squared minus, what is it, minus the mean all squared. So let's write it like this. Okay. Now, this expression can be used to prove this. How? Well, the idea is that this x, you see, it's we have we just redefine it. X is a random variable. Does it matter what random variable it is? No. So why don't we define? So let's say proof. Let's start the proof. Here's the idea. We always need an idea for a proof. How about if we set let x equal to theta hat minus theta then what you will do is you stop this video and take time to plug in x into this expression variance of theta hat minus theta plug it into here plug it into here okay so you try that now stop the video and, and then I'll rejoin you in a few moments Okay, so we let x be equal to theta minus theta. That's the idea. We substitute it into this expression, which we call star. And so we get this. Now, let's take each of these terms. Let's look at each of these terms separately. See, the thing with a proof is... Uh, it become, it's an idea and it's a thinking process so you can see the way I'm going about it and following through with the thinking process. Let's look at this expression 1. Now 1, let's write this because we've got to show working. Now 1 is variance of theta hat minus theta. Think about the variance rules, variance operator rules. Okay, so as soon as I say that, you think to yourself, okay, let's look at inside the brackets, what are constants, what are random variables. Okay, an estimator. An estimator depends on the sample data. And the sample is um, varies from uh, one sampling to another sampling. So this is random. Uh, theta is the true parameter. It is we can we considering it it's fixed it's a constant so we know that applying the rules if that's a random variable and the parameter is a constant this is going to just be variance of theta hat okay second if you didn't get that look back at my variance rules okay secondly the expected value of the squared of the estimator to the true value squared. What is that? Hopefully you're saying, look, is it the MSC? Theta? Look back at the definitions. It is. So if you're looking at the pieces now and where we're trying to go, we're building up, aren't we? Because look back at the top line, we've got the MSC, we've just got the variance. So finally, we hopefully the final term three is going to be something to do with the variance bias. So let's go to three. Let's write this thing down. The expected value. Now, as I'm writing it down, it slows me right down so you can follow what I'm doing. 
that's an advantage. Disadvantage is it's quite tedious to be writing this because it's so slow. Right. Okay. So somehow we've got to see, is this bias squared? Well, we've got a squared term in there, so is inside the bracket there a bias? Well, we ought to recall what is meant by bias. Take the expected value through the brackets. because we know the definition of bias is the expected value of the estimator minus the true value. That's why I'm taking the expected value, the expectation through the brackets, because that's what I'm trying to end up with. OK, the expected value of an estimator, that's fine, because that's in the part of the definition of the bias. What's the expected value of theta? Well, recall that theta is the parameter. And what did we say about the parameter? Is it random or is it fixed? Are you constant? We said it's constant, didn't we? It's always constant. Right, so theta, there you go, squared. Mm, what is this then? It's definition of bias of the estimator. By definition, we call the bi definition of bias of an estimator is the expected value of the estimator minus the true parameter, not the other way around. So we've just done it. This is bias squared of theta hat. So substituting, let's call this three stars. Let's give it three stars. So finally, you can see that where we're going, there's only one more step, and that is substitute three building blocks into two, a rearrange, and you're done. Do I need to do that? Um, I don't think I I don't think I do. So I don't think I do. If I do have to if you stuck with that, say so. Um, otherwise simply look substitute these three things into this expression and take this third term to the other side. Done, isn't it? It's a lot to be said. Remember that maths and stats, uh, these are practical kind of things. You have to learn by doing them. It's not the case of memorizing an essay or anything. So I'm not, let, I'll am not. let you work through that and finish it off. And you'll have a sense of satisfaction. Great. See you around.